Okay, so check this out. I'll explain in a minute. When you need to lift your car up an inch or two to put the wheels back on, I don't know if it's me or not, but I feel like this is overkill. So we're back in the Dean shop garage, and uh, what's going on, man? Well, I took the tranny down to, well, a little review. Changed the oil on the tranny, and metal was stuck to the end of the, uh, drain. the drain plug, the magnetic drain plug. Yep. Insert picture here. <laughs> so, uh, as you can tell from the picture, it's kind of an odd shape, but if you look at it closely, it's, it's actually kind of familiar. It's actually the end of a uh, C-clip. Yeah, it was weird because we could not figure it out, but then once you know, it seems, I mean, yeah. it seems like how could you not recognize it? Right, right. So I, I think, so what they did is they tore into the transmission, and uh, they took it all apart. The uh, guy's down at cryo heat. And where'd you take it, by the way? Took it down to Cryo Heat, Oceanside, California. Um, they uh, uh, are known for their metal treatment, um, but uh, along with the metal treatment, they also rebuild motors and transmissions. Um, so when they tore into the motor, uh, looking for broken pieces, um, everything looked fine except for they came across this C clip that was. Yeah, missing the little ears where you put your tool in there and oh, yeah. and grab it. So those um, were the pieces that we that yeah. you found. So one piece was stuck to the drain plug. The other piece was never found. More than likely in that drain pan. Oh yeah, there. right there. Um, but uh, this was on the main shaft, and uh, since it was on there with the ears broken off, how do you get it off? Because oh, yeah. you can't put the tool in there. So. They had to finagle with it for a while, apply some heat, whatnot, try to get in there, pry it open. Uh, but they got it off. But nice. went through the rest of the transmission. Nothing else was wrong with it. Uh, thank God, saved a little money there. Uh, so what they did is they went through the transmission. They they actually um, dumped the. They took all the electronics out and dunked the whole transmission into their cryo tank, and they cycle it through something like. 80 degrees below zero, 800 degrees below zero, I don't know. Really? But they cycle it through different heat changes stuff for like 80 hours. Wow. Um, so not only all the transmission parts get hardened, but the case gets hardened with it That's also. That's crazy. Yeah, so after they do all that, they took it out, took, um, took it back apart, and uh, went through and micro-polished everything. Yeah. So, uh, so the idea is with the gears is, uh, the way I understand it, is the gears have a little bit of texture to them and the point of that texture is to hold oil so as they uh, actually okay. got some cushion oil in there okay the micro polish takes away all that texture makes it slick um, so the oil becomes more important that you have that oil in there but you have less rolling resistance gotcha so they predict about a 50 percent reduction in parasitic drag with the uh, micro polish really just from the tranny huh yeah yeah that's crazy uh, and then the, these are the uh, factory forks. These are what people are breaking. Uh, primarily like when the, the idle's too high and you're having to jam it down to gear. Okay. Or your, uh, um, your uh, clutch weight is hung up and you can't get that secondary roller to stop spinning and you're shifting gears while the secondary uh, yeah, clutch yeah. is spinning. And that's where you break uh, these shift forks. As you see, they're cast aluminum. And I wish I had a picture of what they replaced them with, but they're billet aluminum, what they replaced oh, them nice. with. Oh, nice. So, the upgrades are billet aluminum, uh, shift forks, and the, uh, the cryo heat uh, treatment, and the micro polish. Very nice. Uh, but uh, very and, professional job. I, and you, uh, you had a broken, this tab, right, was broken off? Yeah, so early on from breaking a belt, and one of my probably three in, inside uh, clutch housings that I broke, this tab was broken off, so they went oh, in right and there. they uh, reinforced it. Um, yeah, they did. I mean, they 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 gusseted the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So you see, all this is added, and then the weld all the way around. Yeah. Uh, Mr. RPM sells a billet one right here, 
and uh, it's great stuff I'm sure I've got the mr. RPM uh, back half now for the clutch housing okay um, but some oh, people have right, talked yeah. about some fitment issues with these and whatnot so okay. this is the factory fits good yeah they um, just re they just reinforced it and yeah yeah and I don't want the seal saver on there because I have the KWI floating secondary yeah, yeah, and yeah. you don't want a seal saver with the floating secondary correct so hopefully this will be nice and strong there secondary second oh secondary yeah yeah secondary here yeah this is the final drive yeah, axles yeah but uh, you see they, they looped everything up the shafts um, it, there's no oil in here right now but um, all the seals were lubed and they put it back together they marked all oh, the yeah. bolts so you can see if it backs off very very professional very nice very happy with the way it came out uh, it really, uh, the weird thing is it was literally just this one piece. They found nothing else, right? Yeah. Just right there. The only thing that broke in this entire transmission There it was, is right there. But it's kind of cool because that parasitic, uh, that's big. Yeah. So what would you say, 50%? 50% reduction parasitic drag. In the transmission. You still have parasitic drag and, you know, yeah. the clutch and the belt right. and the axles and the wheels it's and the wheel bearings. It's going to be interesting to see if this thing maybe is a little quieter. Yeah. You know, maybe there was some gear noise before that we didn't realize it was gear noise. We thought it was clutch noise. Maybe it's a little quieter. Um, some of the stuff like when you're slow speed turning and you get the cluck, 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 cluck. Yeah. See Turn if that out. quietens up maybe. I don't know. So if there's anything significant, we'll talk about it on an upcoming video. It's not going to be an entire video for this, but anyway, that's kind of it. We're going to time lapse you yeah. and... in uh, it's a it's a it's a, it's a job it's definitely better uh, better to do with two people and some pry bars and some ratchet straps and some bubble gum and some Crisco yeah the issue is the distance we have between jamming the back of the transmission in yep. and then swinging the nose over yep. and clearing the shaft and everything on this side yeah because anytime you take an object and you tilt it it gets longer yeah. I mean, if as long as it have as if it ha if it has any width, that is. So to be fair, I don't know if it made a difference. To be fair, we never tried it from the other side going in this way. To me, it just doesn't look. Well, I, you know what? You're right. I, I, I yeah, maybe easier because you don't have all the you, the the transmission is not as wide on this side. I yeah. think. But whatever, it's in. He's got to wire it up. Uh, do a few things. Put the rear mounts on, and then after the rear mounts in, we just put the axles in, all that good stuff. Yeah. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to hook up the electronics so that we can make sure that that shaft spins and spins some stuff in here. Because when that shaft moves, if it's kicked into four-wheel drive, yeah, well, I mean, some stuff. Ones we don't don't know. Maybe paint the picture here. So you get your front drive line. Front drive line. It's basically a through shaft coming through the motor right here. Yep. And it goes into the transmission. Yep. So when you mesh the transmission up to the motor, yep. um, there's a seal there and and basically you're you're stabbing some, some uh, it's like a slip joint, I guess. Yep. And we got these snug and we didn't have to fight them, but you could get it started and get it off and you're jamming the teeth instead of going in. Yeah, it went in pretty easily, so I, I don't think we did. Uh, and it's really hard to see what he's talking about, but see that drive shaft right there. Now I will say right now, looking at that drive shaft, did it have that much space? It should be. Uh... Anyway, that's what we're facing. We're gonna, if we find anything, we'll let you know. We're gonna hook up the electronics and spin stuff around and see if it yeah, turns everything. Right. All right, so we got this thing buttoned up. Um, it's a lot of work. No joke. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna throw some wheels on right now. He's gonna drive it around. Then it'll be, I don't know, it, we'll give, that'll give us the final word. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how it does. We'll see if it's, uh, 
See, did it break it? Did it fix it? Uh, is it better? Right. Can we even tell right here? We don't really have any off-road. We can run it down the road. Is that? that is a... A 19. That's what I want. That's a 19 right there. All right. So anyway, that's what's going on. He's going to throw these wheels on, uh, take it down the street. So we'll check that out, and then we're out. What are we doing here? <laughs> what is going on? Well, I don't have a jack that go high enough. And we'll get your with the remote. So. Oh, man, I got to get this just right so it can be the thumbnail. <laughs> Wow, that thing's precision for such a giant piece of machinery, huh? I mean, look at this thing. It is no joke. Look at that. Let me see if I can zoom that in for you. Look at it. Would you look at that? Boom, this is how we jack up our car over at the Dean Garage. Don't worry about that. I need to do some, uh drops that will work all yeah, right that will work uh, with the O oh shoot button pushed yeah and without yeah snatch block yeah drops with look at that would you look at that okay. all right so the wheels are back on we got to let the jack down just you know this jack don't worry about that <laughs> oh, that's a good thumbnail. Awesome. Anyway. <laughs> All right. That's way up there. That is too funny. It's done. I think when you'll know that is on the next time we go on a trip where you get a chance to drive it for a full day. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. All right. So like we always say, we're done. Done. See ya. Out of here. <laughs>